Cody back with Auto Mafia Racing, and we are driving right now to go pick up Typhoon. Uh, we're in the middle of traffic because it's I 75 in Florida, and it sucks. We're probably about to hit stop and go, according to Google. Uh, but we're driving up to uh, Pro Fab Performance Plus. Uh, yes, it's the same people that work on some of uh, Cletus's cars and stuff like that, and originally built all well, the cages and stuff. We had them check out the cage and do a couple things on Typhoon for us purely because we're so busy doing customer cars and we don't do a lot of chassis work when it comes to big power stuff and getting building cages and getting them certified. So we're leaving it to the experts. So they checked everything out. Everything's good to go. We got all of our new fiberglass doors and stuff installed. So we are absolutely stoked to go get it. And as I predicted, check it out. Yeah. Stop and go traffic yep. with a trailer. How far, how far is the drive all the way to ProFabs? Two hours and about 40 minutes. We got about an hour and 39 minutes to go with traffic. So, yeah, it's fun. But um, I'm super excited to, to see Typhoon again. Very excited uh, to get it running. It's going to be awesome. You excited, Cody? Dude, it's going to look so cool. I, I saw the pictures. It's all put together now. It's a full-on race car. Full-on race car. <laughs> yep. Um, so excited. I am... I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, the, the chassis is built to run mid sevens. Yep, we, I mean we posted about that. The uh, it's supposed to be a 25.5 cage, um, which basically means that we're going to get the cage certified to run 7.50 in the quarter mile, and I think it's like 200 miles an hour. Yep. No, it doesn't mean that we'll have the power to run that fast or the power um, to go that fast in the mile an hour. But we'll try. We are going to put another V6 in it. I'm not going to do the Barra just yet. Um, basically because I don't want to cage Hurricane when I already have a caged S197 Mustang. No reason to go insane like that. So we're not going to on a Hurricane. It's not going to get a cage. So we're just going to do a full V6 build, see where that goes. And then we may in the future put a Barra in it when we really decide we want to go really, really fast. Right. Because... NHRA says you can run without a cage until you're 11.5. So 11.5's NA is pretty quick. I think it's 11.5 is, is like a roll bar, depending, but I know it's 10.5 if they really want you to have a cage. 10.5, yeah. 10.5, they really want you to have a cage. So we're going to try and run basically 10.5 index car and hurricane, um, and then maybe spray them to the max a couple times, but not in competition. Um, but with Typhoon having that cage, that means we can throw all the power we can possibly make on it. The chassis is completely built. It's got a 9-inch rear end under it. Crazy 4-link, awesome suspension, very, very light car. So essentially it's going to make it easy to break records and reset our own records. Mm -hmm. But with the chassis set up and with a good either a power glide or a C4 transmission, all we're basically going to have to do is swap motors if we want to change to a different motor. So basically wiring harness and then change the motor and then motor mounts because everything is going to be motor plated um, and we're running a standalone ECU so whether it's a Haltech um, which is what we are running a Nexus R5 in, in Typhoon um, if we wanted to swap to a Barra it's literally unplug the harness wire up a new harness drop the motor in hook it up to the transmission you know good to go we don't have to change all this crazy stuff it's a purpose built race car that we're going to be able to drop different motors in to do different testing of whatever we decide we want to do. It's going to be V6 first, but I do think that eventually we're going to run out of horsepower. I think we're going to get to a point where it doesn't become worth the money to make more horsepower with the 3.7. And I simply say that because I think there are some inherent design flaws with the block when it comes to big horsepower. And I don't know that I'm going to push the Cyclone motor into a billet form. I, I don't think that will be monetarily worth it because no one's going to do this except for me. No one's just insane. You know, there might be a couple people that try, but no one's going to put this much money into it. And I don't think anyone's going to want to buy a $5,000 piece of block. Now, on the Barra side, there's a lot more interest. It can make a lot more power, a lot easier. It's been proven. I can literally call up our friends at Empire or at Atomic and we can order a motor that they'll ship us in, you know, six to eight weeks that can handle 2,000 horsepower, 1,500 wheel horsepower. That just doesn't exist for the 3.7. 
The most power that's ever been made is about 1,200 horsepower, and it blew up like two runs later, not even running that much horsepower. It was only running like seven or 800, I believe, when it blew up. So with us already basically being the fastest, since there's only one guy faster than us, and that's the guy that made 1,200 horsepower, Michael Green, there's just, it's gonna be interesting because we're gonna be able to obliterate Green's record with this new car, even with a stock motor still. So we're gonna set the record deeper. We're gonna push the V6, we're gonna go a sleeve block, we're gonna do all that stuff, but we're not gonna have an unlimited amount of horsepower. There will be a point where the block is just gonna keep breaking no matter what we do, whether that's at 1200, 1400, whatever horsepower. If we choose to keep going faster, we will eventually have to trade into something that's a little more proven. But it's still gonna be fun trying either way. I still say we stick with a V6 and we try to put a VR38 with a GTR in it. Oh, that'd be crazy. Because world's fastest V6, the only way you can get a faster V6 <laughs> is if you're making 2,000 horsepower in a twin turbo v GTR mode. That would be crazy. Yeah, but that, you're talking 30k in the engine yeah, before you even exactly. get close to that. <laughs> so, exactly. Exactly. I think that's point. still a block kind of territory. Oh, it is. That is built so. Which is why I was like, at that point, I don't want to put that money in a V6. I'd rather just, I'd rather build a, a Bill and Vera. Right? Or just make 2,000 horsepower out of Bill Coyote. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think I'd rather do a Vera than a Coyote. Yeah, Coyote's still overdone. We have to do something crazy. Maybe yeah. the 7.3 is really good. We're doing Godzilla. Do, do big block. It's heavy. Big block Ford. We can do a big block Ford. I've been wanting to do a big block Ford, but there's probably a big block Ford. We're still going to spend $20,000 on the engine when you can do the same thing with a Coyote. Yeah, but like, we could do nitrous and just make it shoot flames the whole track. Light the candles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just full street outlaw hurricane, style. Hurricane's probably going to light the candles. That's it. Oh yeah, Hurricane Bite. Hurricane, we're going to do zoomies on Hurricane. I just watched somebody almost bring out somebody as we're driving. People are crazy driving. Yeah. What is it? People just cut you off. But, I mean, Typhoon's going to have some sick exhaust and big turbo. We are going to run on Typhoon our off-the-shelf turbo kit. And I mean off-the-shelf. Yep. Absolutely bare bones. The only thing we're going to do different is I'm not going to run an oil pump. I'm going to run our oiless turbo option. Yeah, really because I don't want to run. Yeah, same, same turbo motor, our uh, 675 uh, water cool oilless turbo. Um, I'm going to run that on our Mafia turbo kit. Yeah. That turbo is an option on the kit. We've had two people order it. Um, I think it's two people. There's one of them at the shop right now. <laughs> but, yeah, we're going to run and prove our kit because I think we can run eights on our kit. My whole goal for Typhoon to start is eights with 800 horsepower. Because I, think, I don't think we're going to need to do a sleeved motor to hold 800 horsepower.
Holtec, we're not going to have that issue. We can run 150 pounds of boost, it'll still do it, it won't care. Our air fuel ratios will look, will look better, um, the timing will be more consistent, everything's just going to be 100% better because we're not building the car to drive daily, it's a race car. So it will be built as a race car, tuned as a race car, and it will just flat out run. Um, we got some stuff that we're going to try out, corded heads, big cans, high compression, it's going to be fun, so stay tuned. We got an hour and a half left. I've been freezing Cody out. You see, I'm in a t-shirt. He's in his mafia hoodie. I'm from Florida. He's from Montana. Yep. So, yeah, we're going to get there and get the car. We'll show you guys that there. Check back in with you guys. So sorry guys, we were a little excited and Very we ended excited. up just seeing it by ourselves and putting it in the truck before we even grabbed the camera. It's partially my bad. <laughs> so Terrible cameraman, Cody. Yeah, forgot to, re forgot to record. Here it is. Typhoon's in the truck. Got the trailer. We, got our, we have our deck lid, fiberglass deck lid. Alexan smoked. I didn't even know it was smoked. Yeah, we, didn't, we couldn't tell because it was, it was covered in plastic sitting in the shop. Yeah. This is awesome. Yeah, smoked Lex and rear. The fiberglass doors. This is how you lock it. So it doesn't so the window doesn't come out going 200 miles an hour. Yep. Got shot in the front too. Yeah. I also think this is cool. This is how you this is how you open it. This lever here. There's no actual lever. Now here's here's what everybody wants to see. The carbon fiber one piece front end. Damn. Wrong <laughs> what do you got to say, man? Real race car now, man. Yeah, real race car. Looks like a real race car. People keep saying we have a full race car, so now we have a full race car. That's pretty much why we did it. I mean, let's be real. Everyone's like, oh, it's a tin can. That's just a race car. You're not going to street drive that. I'm going to street drive this. I'm going to take this on race week. What do they say? Street car. Street car. Street car. Yeah, that's not that's not glass. Nope. <laughs> but it's sweet. Don't worry, everything will get painted and it's gonna look like basically a stock car with weird windows. <laughs> with bolts on your windows. There's some funny looking windows, sir. You got some funny looking windows on that car. I think what we'll have <laughs> is we'll have the body guy uh, fiberglass over where the door handles are supposed to go. Um, and we'll we'll do it that way basically. Say bye to Mark. Yeah, Mark stayed late for us because we got stuck in traffic. So, thank you to ProFab Performance Plus up there. He stayed late. Like I said, these are the guys that took care of uh, checking everything out with the chassis and fitting the doors and everything since they've done it before and they have the, the time to do it where we frankly don't. Um, we're th very thankful to them and yeah, Mark, the owner, stayed late for us so that we could make the three hour freaking drive because so much traffic and smoke on the highway from forest fires. But now we have a race car. I can't decide what color it needs to be. Yeah, I'm saying the black just looks too aggressive. The black looks so aggressive. With the smoke, I mean the smoke's gonna look good regardless. Just full, it's basically fully blacked out, which just looks, I mean, so murdered. Maybe we will just do hurricane white and typhoon just black. I think white like, and red on Hurricane, oh. black and blue on Typhoon. Uh, I'm going to do black and blue. Blue letter. It'll be black and red and white and red. Okay. Classic, okay. Okay. classic okay. AMR. Yeah. We'll get this logo all over it. It'll look good. We'll make it clean. Probably have uh, the guys at Redline design us, you know, the graphics for it to make it look good. But, oh my gosh, you guys, it looks so awesome. I'm just so stoked with it. I've never seen it with the windows in and the new doors on. And it looks like it doesn't weigh a thing. Oh man. Just wait till we pull it out actually in the sunlight for you guys and let you guys really see everything. Um, it's awesome. It was, Cody was in the car. Okay, let me show you how, tell you how much it weighs. Cody was in the car. 
<laughs> and Mark and I pushed it in, and we weren't really trying that hard. We were kind of leaning on it, and we had to give it a little push to get it up over the, the, the kind of the hump. But that's basically it. It was, it rolled right in. So we're gonna just close up the trailer, throw the old doors, which these things weigh a ton, guys. I think we're gonna weigh them, but they are freaking heavy. I, I have no doubt that we lost 100 pounds between these two doors. Yeah, I would say it's a 50 pound door. At least 100 pounds, because those weigh nothing. Like they might, I think they weigh three pounds. With the window, maybe five. So absolutely insane but once again thanks to the guys here uh pro Fat performance plus awesome guys um definitely am happy to have them look over everything so next step is really getting the uh the crate the uh the, the cage certified. certified when we go to our first event essentially um i might have someone come and do it privately just so we get it done and it's fast like we get it done faster and it's actually done done i don't have to worry about it not being able to tech out at the actual uh at the track um but we're not technically going to need that actual 75 certification for a long time and i don't think anyone would say that it's not teched for nines right even, even the eight five so like i said we're going to get it going yeah, um we're blocking traffic we're blocking traffic right now so we're going to move guys but uh we're going to load these doors and then we'll be done thanks for watching make sure you guys like share and subscribe we'll see you next time